Hey, you guys, it is day four of the CMW Consistency Challenge. I'm glad you're still here. Kristen's still here with you. I'm here with you every step of the way. I am your coach for the next seven days, or I guess the next four days, right? Um, so today we're talking about family schedule because oftentimes people tell me one of the biggest reasons they're not consistent is because all these family obligations get in the way. They have to do things for their partner. They have to do things for their kids, things for their parents, things for their siblings, um, just all these people they have to give their time to. So they feel like they have very little time for themselves. So when you comment below, tell me if this is you. Okay, because I want to help you make time for you. One of the biggest things we say in CMW is me first while acknowledging others. But for a long time, we had our big um, buzz phrase was me first. We even had it on our tank tops. I work with lots of moms who have kids and they feel like they're always splitting their time between work or their, their children and they have very little time for themselves. So I'm here to tell you that you are worthy of time for yourself. And I know that sometimes the mom guilt is real. And I know sometimes the dad guilt is real as well. Like I said, I work with men and women, okay? And that family guilt is there. Well, I have so many other people in my life, people that I put above myself that I need to give my time to. And I am here today to remind you that if you don't make time for yourself, what is going to happen to you? More importantly, what's going to happen to your family if you don't make time for you? So let's say you are super serious about your health goals, okay? You want to improve your energy. You want to feel better. You want to feel like your old self again. You used to have all this energy. You had time for yourself. You were fit. You felt fabulous. You were eating healthy. You were just like this superman or superwoman. And now you feel totally deflated. And you're like, I want that confidence back. I want that feeling back. How do I get there? I just don't have time for it. I don't have the time that I used to when I was in my 20s and maybe my 30s. Um, now I've got a, a family I've got to take care of. What do I do? Right? Or maybe you're older in life and you've raised your kids and now you're taking care of your parents. You're taking care of other people in your life. Maybe you're taking care of even some coworkers or friends or other family members. You, a lot of people depend on you. And so it's hard. For you to justify spending an ounce of time on yourself. And when you do have an ounce of time to spend on yourself, you're exhausted. You don't even want to do something for yourself. You're like, all I want to do is sit on the couch and watch Netflix. All I want to do is just like stroll TikTok. I just want to read some like juicy gossip celebrity magazines. I don't know. <laughs> Picking this up. I just want to like sit and have a glass of wine. Like, go for a walk, make myself a healthy dinner, go to bed on time. Uh-uh, I want to sit and watch, like, The Bachelorette. Or I want to watch a movie and enjoy myself a nice drink of some sort. I'm just making this up. I don't know. So, again, how do we get consistent? How do we get motivated? Not, and I shouldn't say motivated. You have this motivation to do these things for yourself, but you just feel that you can't give to yourself. Because everyone else needs you. So as you probably have noticed in the last few days, I've been talking a lot about mindset. And I've talked about our thoughts. I've talked about our feelings. I've talked about our circumstances also. And we have this whole thought model in the CMW program called CTFAR. And I did a training on this years ago. Um, and I'm going to drop it here in the guide as well for you guys to see. Um, but again, this is an example of your thoughts getting in the way of your happiness and your health and your goals. Okay, this is you versus you. Will your children be so infuriated with you? Will your partner be so infuriated with you if you make time to do a 30 minute workout, maybe even 20 minutes? Can you find that 20 minutes in the day? to squeeze in a workout or go for a walk or just to make yourself a healthy meal. So I don't wanna get back into the time management conversation. We did that on day one, right? But I wanna to talk to you about you feeling worthy because I talk to so many people that deep down, they might tell me they're worthy and they know they need to make time for themselves, 
But deep down, subconsciously, they don't feel that way. They feel that they're not worthy. That everyone else is more important than them. Where is that coming from? So this is also something we talk about in CMW, primarily our 16-week program, where we work on our self-worth. There is a tremendous difference between self-confidence and self-worth and self-esteem. Yeah, self-confidence, self-worth, self there's other things too, but they're all different. And so you cannot change your worthiness and how you feel about yourself in one day. I'm not here to tell you that. It takes time and energy and consistency to do that. So what I want you to do today, and I want you to tell yourself this over and over again, especially in those moments where you might not think this is true. I want you to tell yourself, I am worthy. So let's say you planned out your day. You planned out when you're going to do your habit, you're going to go for your walk, you're going to do your workout, you're going to go to bed on time, whatever it is you're doing for you. And that little diva on your shoulder, you've got the queen and you got the diva. The diva is like that low buzz thought, all right? She's like the, the subconscious being like, you got other things to do. You got to do this. You got to do that. Who are you taking time for yourself? I want you to like flick that diva off and I want you to look to the queen. Because guess what the queen is always going to say? I am worthy. Go get yourself a crown. And that'll make you feel more worthy. All right, get a crown. And wear it in your house to remind you that you are worthy. I'm here to tell you that. And as your coach, it is my duty to keep telling you that. But you have to believe it. So what is it going to take for you to believe that is true? I am worthy because. I am worthy because I want to be the best parent out there. And if I am giving from an empty cup, how much do I really have to give? The cup is going to break at some point. There's a drought. What happens when there's drought? Nothing good. And maybe you're not empty. Maybe you're just like barely at the bottom. We're going to hit a drought at some point. And then I talk to some people. They're like, Chris, and I've been in a drought for a really long time. And then I ask them, well, how long can you survive without water? How long can you survive without water? You guys know the science behind that? What is it, three days? So yes, this is figuratively speaking, <laughs> like when I talk about your empty cup, but you're not gonna last very long is my point. At some point, your health and everything else is going to waver, and then you're not gonna be able to give to those you love. And those people you love, you might be right, they really need you. So isn't it your duty to take care of you. I am worthy. I am worthy. I am worthy. I am worthy. I want you to write it. If you've got a journal, I'm a big journaler, write it every morning. That one thought, that affirmation, write it on your bathroom mirror, make it the background of your phone, wherever you need to see it, put it there, put it into the universe. Because you are worthy. And you have to believe it. Okay. So today, that's what you're going to do. That's the only thing I'm going to ask you to do today. Besides your photo proof of your habit, of course, and write your big takeaway. Maybe you had an aha moment today. Maybe you're like, ooh, Kristen, you, you hit something hard, you know, pretty powerful in me. 
you have you helped me realize something about myself. This is what's really holding me back. And I want you to comment below, I am worthy. And I want you to write it somewhere else where you can look at it. And every day this week, I am worthy. Anytime you have that fear of doing a workout, going for a walk, doing something for you, remind yourself, I am worthy. Just say it. And it's going to take practice, 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 practice. It's like riding a bike for the first time. You're not going to nail it on the first time or a surfing lesson. Let's do that even harder. So like, you're not going to nail it the first time. You're going to fall down a lot. You're going to forget to tell yourself I'm worthy. But the more you do it, the better you're going to get. So you got to build that confidence in yourself, right? Remember, lack of motivation comes from lack of confidence. So I want to help you build your confidence. You've got to do this for you. I am worthy. I can tell you a hundred times you're worthy, but it doesn't matter unless it's coming from here. Okay? From here. All right. You're worthy. Make it a great day four. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day five. Bye.